guys, it's Colton Gibbons from Lintless Outdoors. Uh, today we are looking at the X52 from Aerial Rider. This is an e-bike. It's, uh, this thing's been phenomenal so far. We've been driving it all over the place. It's awesome. It's got a seven gear Shimano setup in it and front and rear suspension as well as 180 millimeter rotor uh, brakes on this thing. It literally stops on a dime and it will climb up a hill. It has a 70 plus mile range and um, Honestly, I've been thoroughly impressed with this thing so far. I've had Brenton on the back of this thing on the pegs. It can handle both of us going uphill like it's nothing. Um, has headlight on it for riding out in the dark. And like I said before, the dual in the rear suspension, it, um, it absorbs absolutely every rock on this thing. It's a smooth ride, and it honestly has performed flawlessly for us. We do a lot of hunting, a lot of shed hunting, as you guys know, and a lot of these roads currently, they're closed in due to snow and everything else, so you can sneak around on the edges of the snow patches on the road, but you can't drive a truck up there, so we have a lot of plans to use this thing for a lot of shed hunting coming up. Um, you can use it for bear hunts in particular. There's a lot of old, uh, old logging roads that you can take these things up and ride in quietly. It's a lot quieter than a dirt bike. There's a lot of trails out there that you can take dirt bikes on, but this thing, no noise, really quiet, sneak in and out, um, and it has a great payload. Honestly, I feel perfectly comfortable riding with an extra 200 pounds on here beyond myself, so that's 400 pounds. They say this thing can only handle 300, but I think it's got a lot more potential. I'm, I'd be excited to use this thing with an elk quarter on my back, um, and it, it's balanced nicely. It, it's not too heavy to where you can't manhandle a little bit, um, like a dirt bike. With a dirt bike, you're not getting this thing up and over stuff. You can literally pick this whole thing up. Uh, and as I said before, it's got a 70 plus mile range on it. So uh, you can use your pedal assist and use different settings on the pedal assist. You can have one up to five. So if you're going up a really steep hill, you can throw it on five and it'll help cook you up this thing. I mean, I've been riding up this going 20 miles per hour. So and I definitely couldn't pedal 20 miles per hour up this thing. There's also an attachable rack that you can put on the back of these things. Um, they also make models that are front drive and rear wheel drive. This is just the rear wheel drive mo model. Uh, it has a 52 volt battery on it that goes and puts out 1000 watts up to 2000 watt max output. Um, but this thing's lasted f amazingly. I, I've driven it all over the place and um, I've only had to charge it once since we've had this thing. We've had it for a month now almost and it truly has done phenomenal. Another way I plan on implementing this bike into a, our general hunting strategy is that a lot of times I drive the truck up the road and I hike up and I do this big loop and then I end up three four miles away from the truck and I have to walk back the road to the truck and it is an absolute pain. Instead you can drop off your bike down the hill stash it off the side of the road so nobody grabs it. Come out on your loop grab that ride right back up to your truck and save yourself an extra three, four miles worth of walking. I've done it countless times. I'm looking forward to not having to do that anymore. There's a lot of other bike brands out there, e-bikes. They run a lot more than these guys do. This bike is built well, it's American made, and we are gonna use this thing in countless ways on our hunts. And if you guys are really in the market for a good bike, I'd highly recommend checking these out. I think it'd open up a lot of doors in your hunting opportunities and get you into places that you haven't ever been before. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.